God, have you guys seen the, the you know what one of my favorite, dude, you know what actually I want to do? First of all, you got to look up this one video. This is my favorite video. I never laughed so hard um, at a blooper than this one here, this Tech TV blooper right here. Okay, dude, I never this is laughed. a one of a kind. Dude, I never th- laughed. Ho- I-, I never laughed harder at a blooper video than this one. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, this is this older man. I've shown you this, right? This older man. It's called Tech TV Blooper. This older man, and this guy is, well, here, I'll just play it. So this is a one-of-a-kind piece. There's no other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see the tracks go this way. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than... <laughs> oh, f- <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, my God, dude. Okay, he's literally just holding it. Nothing's happening, and it just explodes. He didn't drop it. And then... <laughs> This is a one of a kind. And he's saying piece. it's a one of a there kind is no piece. Other one like this particular one in the world. And you can see the tracks go this way. And um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, my God. Um, well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. That No, it doesn't, dude. Guy doesn't know what to say. Uh, he goes, oh, sh-. he was going to say fuck, but then didn't because he didn't want to swear. And then he said, shit. <laughs> like the second wave of uh-oh just overwhelmed him. And he was like, I guess I got to say shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Go this way. And he says, oh, my God, too, which is hilarious. And, um, it's really cool because it, it records much more accurately than, oh, f- shit. <laughs> Oh, my God. Um, Well, that does happen every uh, once in a while. That can't be good. Uh, Now, uh, are you done with uh, that then? Yeah, I'm done with that. All right. (laughs) Apparently, we're we're really done with that one. Uh, uh, That's so funny. Are you done with that one? It just exploded, huh? Yeah, you're done with it. That one and then the fucking ladder, the QVC ladder one. Forget it, dude. Forget it, dude. I don't know which one I like better. I don't know which one I like better, dude. This one, oh my God, the home shopping ladder blooper. This one right here. First of all, this is the it's dumbest the one. dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. It's a ladder that fucking, we'll put it on the video podcast, but it goes up and you can make it go across and then down for at no reason, for no fucking reason. All right, so he's showing how to do it and he's crawling across the ladder. It's a very easy situation to operate. You just push the buttons in right here on, on the two sides, the two little buttons. And all you do is push them in, and that will release it. And what, right here, push the button in, that releases it. And then after you let go, it locks firmly okay. in place. So really, you're all set. And this is tough. It is. Listen, listen give you an example. <laughs> He's just, and this is tough. All right. And he, by the way, guys who are, as, who are as tall as the woman they're talking to are the, are the most hilarious guys. Like, it doesn't matter how tall you are. If you are as tall as the woman you're talking to, you are a bitch. Now, the woman can be 6'2". I'm 6'2". If the woman's 6'2", and I'm talking to a 6'2 woman, I am. Therefore, bitch. Now, that happens way less because I'm 6'2", and not many women are 6'2". But if you're as tall as the woman you're talking to, you are a bitch. And you're drawing the pussy up. And that's just how it is. Now, our pussy is going like this. Because it's dry. Congratulations, but that's how it is, okay? Now, this guy is trying to show this girl how the ladder works because he's a representative of the ladder, and it is her job to be on the show and have this guy on and try and sell these ladders. Now, she is wearing, for some reason, a goddamn gown. Now, that's fucking stupid because she looks ridiculous. She couldn't look more Mormon, and he is as tall as her. Therefore, he is as a bitch. Now, he locks it up. Let me go back a little bit. You're all set. And this is tough. The guy couldn't look more like he sings in that fucking. Sherry baby. What is that? Who are they? The Four Seasons? Sherry baby. Is it the Four Seasons? No, it's uh, One Fire. One Fire. It's all good, but One Fire. Frankie Valley and the fucking Degenerates or some shit, you know? Degenerates is probably. That's, that, that's definitely a group. The Four Seasons. Okay. Frankie Valley. An example. 
So he now he tries to crawl across it. So you have a you know you have to get up on the wall, high ceiling, vault right. ceiling. Right, she has no fucking idea, dude. She has absolutely zero idea. Right, right. And he's crawling across. Dude, you don't understand. This ladder, how do I describe it for the audio listeners? So the ladder, it, it, it's, it's a bridge. You crawl up it, and then you crawl across it, and then I guess down. And he's like, say you have to go. But you could just use a regular ladder for the shit. So you have a, you know, you have to get up on the wall, high ceiling. You have to get up on the wall, or high ceiling. Oh, you mean what a regular ladder does? Okay. Right. right. Hey, listen, the best. I never right. realized how awesome uh, her know, and loaded her right is. So you have a, you know, you have to get up on the wall, high ceiling, vault right. ceiling. Hey, listen, just walk right up. And I tell you. It's oh, very- dude, the casualness of how he's. So, listen, just walk right up. Okay, so he's, now he's walking up. Wow. So bitch how he looks when he's walking right up. Okay. Walk right up, and I tell you, it's very safe, it's durable, and Girl, it's like carrying me. So really, <laughs> see, wow. now it's like- okay. Now what happened right there was he it buckled a little bit, like about I'd say ten inches, and he almost fell, and he's crawling across it, which means if it did buckle, his face would go directly into the ground. Okay, so Frankie Valley. <laughs> The guy could look more like goddamn Frankie Valley, and he's as tall as the fucking chick he's talking to. Oh my god! All right, so, all right, so, so now it lo- and then he and then he's so fucking goddamn scared. But he says, "See, now it's locked in place." Really? So there it goes. Okay, it falls wow. a little bit. Now it's locked in place. Okay. Now it's so really. Now he, <laughs> he has to crawl across the floor because he has to, because he has to, because he's trying to sell these. He has no choice but to now – that's the that's the best, dude. There's nothing funnier than that. The guy has to sell these ladders because he's a representative of the ladder. I don't know if he owns the ladder or what, but he's a representative. He needs to make money, dude. So he goes to crawl across it. He said, now it's completely safe. It's locked in place. And then it falls a little bit, scaring everyone. And then he says, see, now it's locked in place. He has no choice. Otherwise, he will sell zero. The only hope that he has to sell any is to crawl across and, and nothing, bad have ha- nothing bad happens. But as you can see, it is not safe. <laughs> okay. So really. So here he goes. You say, oh, God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. Yeah, no way, shit, dude. <laughs> His chin goes directly into the ground. And he's, actually, I didn't have it locked. Yeah, and no shit also don't need it. Get a regular ladder, dude. If you need to go to this. And then it cuts immediately to the stock footage of the ladder, which is the best. The, the guy was on standby. It cut so quickly. The guy was on, he was like, he hit it immediately because he knew Frank Valley was going to hit it. Right up. And I tell you, it's very. Dude, when he says, actually, I didn't have it locked. Safe, it's durable, and Girl, it's lightweight. you me. So really, <laughs> see, wow. now it's locked in place, okay? So really, you say, oh, God, Harold, are you okay? <laughs> Actually, I didn't have it locked. You have to lock it. Once you lock it, you're okay. But it is very safe to operate. Dude, the, the steam coming out of it, like the wind out of it at the end, that last, right here. Right here. It is very safe to operate. Just so defeated. So defeated. It is very safe to operate. New, just people hanging up across the country. You say, oh, God, Harold, are you okay? Actually, I didn't have it locked. Ah, no shit. You have to lock it. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Once you lock it, you're okay. But it is Dude, very- you got to look at this video. Look at the different, the different fucking... Things you can do with the ladder is just so hilarious. Look at this one, dude. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? They made it one one where you can just it go. It's like up down, like a zigzag across the ground. What the fuck would you want to do that with a, a ladder? What would you do that except hurt yourself? And it's two hundred dollars. Uh, two hundred dollars for chipped teeth. <laughs> Wow, three point three million. When I first saw that video, it was it had no hits, dude. Wow, we were laughing hard, me and my brother. I mean, look at the things that come up: QVC ladder fall, death, 
QVC knife. How about the fucking one? Oh, it got me. Oh, it got me. That one. The samurai one. You know that one? <laughs> QVC. The, the, the fact, the way they have to save face is so funny, dude. Because they can't be like, ow, you know? They got to be like, oh, it got me. Here we go. 1101-1816 is the item number. Why are these guys screaming always? 1101. You're mic'd. 1101-1816 is the item number on this one. 1101-1816 is the item number on this one. And the nice thing about these practice katanas. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh. It, the blade comes off and stabs his abdomen. That hurt big time. A piece of that just, the tip just got me, Odell. <laughs> Bro, you stabbed yourself. It, the piece, try to minimize it. I love how these guys always try to minimize it, dude. You, why can't you just be hurt? It's like, oh, it got, oh, a piece of that just got me. Stabbed himself. A piece of that just, the tip just got me. Odell. Yeah. Odell, too, you know? Oh, that got me good. You all right? A piece of that tip just got me. Let's try to oh, play it off. Right now, we, uh, the guy, we need emergency surgery the guy? in the studio. Katanas. Ow! Katanas. Ow! Katanas. Ow! <laughs> I mean, he's like he didn't hit his eye. Dude, when, when the guy... When Odell, somebody commented, where can I buy one of those tables? Um, Odell afterwards, uh, we may need to get, like, just the craft service guy. We may need to get emergency surgery. <laughs> like, he's just a fucking, what's his name? Uh, Mike Judge character. Oh, fuck. It's so funny, dude. But But let's look up the fucking one that I've been meaning to look this one up. For so long. Jim Rome, Jim Everett won. This is so... This is where the coin... We coined, I think, my brother and I coined, probably... Bitch is such a big term in me and my brother's life. And it had been brewing and bubbling. But the Sabitch shit came. Like, this is one of the first seeds of my brother and I starting to call everything bitch. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Jim Rome, Bible that's on. not what do we want. Jim Rome. Oh, see this is Jim Rome, here we go, versus Chris Everett. Playing for that team, did he lit up? I'm talking about the new First of all, so such bad footage. Like dude, how come in the not shit, do you ever see old footage of shit? You're like, how did I ever watch TV? It looks like you're watching it without the fucking glasses on. It's so bad. HD is everything. Like, how did you used to jerk off the porn on VHS? The shit looks like a fucking... What do you call it? Uh, 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 like... Like the fucking Techno Bowl or some shit. Techno Bowl. Techno? Techno Bowl? Techno Bowl. Um, yeah. So, so Jim Rome is interviewing Jim Everett. And he calls him, Chris Everett was a female tennis player. And Jim Rome would say on his program that Jim Everett, he would call him Chris Everett because he thought he played like a fucking, I guess, weaker than he normally does. Weaker than a football player should play. Like if he was doing the sexist, like, yeah, you play like a girl thing. Um, so G Jim Everett now finally gets on his show and calls him out. And it's so funny. He is now playing for that team that he lit up. I mean, I'm Jim talking. Rome, it's these short Frankie Valley type guys that are the most sabitch guys in the world. The new New Orleans Saints quarterback, Jim Everett. There's the game winner right there. Just how he says, check that, Chris Everett, like just so heated. All right, that was then, and this is now. He's now a member of the Saints. Jim, good to have you on the show. Good to be here, Jim. Thank you. Check that, Chris Everett. Good to have you on the show. You know what? You know what? So... First of all, so shitty to invite a guy on your show just to be shitty to him. 
some bad journalism. Like, be a little bit more cagey. And call me that for about the last. And then he he knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Jim Everett knew it was coming so hard. Look, you know you've been. You know what? Anytime a guy says, you know what, they knew it was coming. And thank you. Check that, Chris Everett. Good to have you on the show. You know what? You know you've been calling me that for about the last five years. About two years, actually, Chris. Well, oh fucking what a bitch. Two years, actually, Chris. And then again, twist the knife. Oh, it got me right there. Twisted it. I called him Chris again. How nerv- so nervous, so nervous, both these guys. About two years, actually. Because so nervous, Jim Rome so nervous because Jim Everett could beat the shit out of him, and Jim Everett so nervous because he's in an interview and doesn't want to be exposed. Well, hey, they have nervous smiles so hard. They're both like this. Oh, let me let me say one thing. In that game, how many sacks did I have that we came back and won? How many sacks did yeah, you have? How many game? How many sacks? Let's see, but this was back in 1989. Right, so you, you may have even been Jim Everett back there, but somewhere along the way, Jim, you ceased being Jim and you became Chris. Well, let me tell you a little secret. Ah! Oh, <laughs> that's the best part! Not a se- Not a secret, dude! But, you know, we're sitting here right now. As we- insecure! Let me tell you a little secret that uh, we're sitting here right now. Not a secret. You became Chris. Well, let me tell you a little secret. But, you know, we're sitting here right now, and if you guys want to take a station break, oh. you can. But if you call me Chris Everett to my face one more time. I already did it twice. Better, you better you call it one more time. That's the best one, because Jim Rome is trying to, like, go back and be like, well, I already did it twice. I don't want to have to do this call you out on your threat thing. So that should count, and you should be beating me up already, but you're not going to, and I'm calling you out on that shit. But Jim Everett. Better st- take a station break. Well, it's a f- everyone. Sh- you better you call one more time. We better st- take a station break. Well, it's a five minute segment. Our five segment show. We got long five minute segment. Got so nervous. Our five segment show. Five minute segment or five second. Sh- so every both of them are so nervous right now. It's so funny. Station break. Well, it's a five minute segment. Our five segment show. We got a long way to go. Look, what we do? We got a long way to go. Oh, dude. What we do? What we do? And he's smiling. The, the, I just before we even play it, the beat Jim Rome <laughs> takes before he decides to call him Chris again is the most unreal beat ever taken. I'll get a couple segments out of well, here. It's before. good to be here with you, though. Well, it's good you to know, see you too. We've been talking like this uh, behind my back for a long but time, but now I said it right here. Right. Exactly. Well, we got no problem. Well, I think it, I think that you you probably won't say it again. Here we go. I bet I do. Okay, Chris. <laughs> Dude, the sound goes. He tosses the table up and just tosses him down, dude. <laughs> the way Jim Rome gets up to his so bitch. You, you probably won't say it again. I bet I do. Okay. Chris. <laughs> this little fuck, dude. That's the kind of shit you get knocked the fuck out if you do that. I bet I do. Okay. Chris. Jim Rome's a bitch for that, though. I think that you you probably won't say it again. I bet I do. No, I'm sorry. Jim Everett's a bitch for that. Chris? Hey, hey, we're just kidding, man. Just kidding. Help! Help! Get him off me! Oh, this is... That's fake. That part's fake. Oh, wait. Is that really what that is? No. Because they turned the mic off. I'll tell you what, dude. If somebody fucking called me out on that shit... Oh, I'd love to call him. I'd love to call him Chris again. Come on, Chris. Let's do this shit. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. He got fair warning, didn't he? Yeah, he did. This is a doctor. I think that you, you probably won't. This is doctored. I bet I do. Okay. Chris? Hey, hey just kidding, man. Just kidding. Help! Help! Get him off me! Get him off me! chance that why did they do that it's not real you know that's the best you call me chris ever to my face one more <laughs> i already did it twice oh man that's so funny the whole thing is so bitch